Hello. <laughs> Welcome to part three of my series, How to Create Your Ideal Fitness and Health Path, How to Create Lifelong Results, you know, whatever name you want this series can be, except this is part three. It's going to be the movement portion of the elements to create the path. Hopefully that made sense. I'm very excited because movement is personally my favorite part. I'm obsessed with movement. I cannot wait to be able to work out and I just love movement. I love promoting it. I love teaching people how to move, why you should move. Just reminding people that if you can move, you gotta be moving, you know? There's no like, oh, uh, maybe, no. You have to be moving. If you can move, movement can change your life. Okay, should we dive into my iPad? What a shock. Let me set it up. Wait, before we go into it, if you have not watched part one or part two yet, part one is the general overview of the whole series and like what it's all about and everything you need to know. And then part two is the nutrition slash fuel aspect or elements, whatever. I know I keep throwing out like different words. <laughs> so whatever word you want to use is the word that will be good for you. So this one is the movement, but everything's building upon each other. So if you haven't watched those other two ones, make sure you go back and watch them. I'll link them both up here. Just watch those two first and then you can come and pop back over here. Actually, let's quickly go through the other two diagrams that I made <laughs> quickly. She doesn't know what quick is. iPad, good morning. Okay, so this is the general one. To get results, you need movement, fuel, nutrition, mental health, habits and routine, and supplemental elements. Of course, there's everything that just goes further in depth into these. For the bigger picture, you need accountability, consistency, patience, time, and effort. Of course, accountability can come from trainers, well, like myself, of course, or friends and family, whatever. The next page is the fuel and nutrition. So individualized mindset, prep and availability, accountability and consistency, and all about the bigger picture. Of course, you need to watch those videos to know like what actually those means. But now we will go into movement on the blank page. Got my energy drink here, of course. And my water. This doesn't matter, I just wanted to show you. Okay. I'm gonna sit on my chair. So we're popping in the iPad. Things that you have to remember moving forward. Oh, shoot, wait. <laughs> One sec, I'm not ready. Actually, maybe I can talk while I do this. <laughs> that never happens. So then I just wanna say in general, these, everything that I'm talking about all the time aren't the completely everything so of course there's so much that I want to be able to chat about but you know we'd probably be sitting here for an hour if you have any questions or if you need me to elaborate on anything I totally can you can always DM me on Instagram comment down below any questions that you have or anything like that and just remember that when I say things I mean like if you can do this then this is for you don't forget that everything is completely individualized, especially what I was saying earlier about like everything is completely different for everyone, especially I really mentioned that in the first two videos and I'm not going to continue to go on and on and on about it, but it is very important to remember that. So everything is subjective to you, to like literally you, like you who's watching this video or the person next to you or whoever is listening. So just remember that going into this. I say things in a very, very general sense, but you have to zone it in to yourself. And of course, I'm here if you need help with that. Essentially my entire job. <laughs> also, something to say, if you, <laughs> wait, this whole video is something to say. I'm the silliest person to live, I think. Something else is if you have anything else you'd love to add, I would love to hear it. Comment down below anything that you feel like I should have added into this. I love hearing stuff and, you know, just getting the conversation about it. And sometimes things spark in people's heads that they didn't realize that they needed or, you know, anything like that. Wait, is this working? Hold on. I don't, don't know if this is working or not. Oh, it was. Okay. I'm going to kind of write small because, um... I might run out of room. Okay, movement. <laughs> I 
obviously. First thing, it is not one size fits all. <laughs> Look at me writing and talking at the same time. Who is she? No, no. That basically means exactly how it sounds. Not one size fits all. You can't just like pick something out of the blue and be like, okay, great, this will work for me because I saw this person do it and it works for them, so it'll work for me. No, that's not how it works, unfortunately. Honestly, that would be so great. All of this stuff, if this was the opposite of what I'm gonna say, it would be so great and it would be so easy. That's another thing. You cannot go into thinking things are gonna be easy and quick. I'm telling you, like, things that you see or things that you don't even want, like, a big thing for females I know is they don't wanna get bulky and they wanna tone. Toning, first of all, I don't like that word. I don't like to use it. I don't really feel like it's an accurate description of what it actually means. Toning is building muscle and getting lean and losing fat around the muscle so that the muscle can be shown. If you want the muscle to be shown and to be there, no matter what you're talking about, it is the same exact process. It's strength training, progressive overload. Wait, I'm not gonna get into that yet because I'm gonna talk about that later. That was a big sidebar, let's go back. It's not one size fits all. If you can move, so we're gonna talk about people who can move. If you can, it's not one size fits all and you have to figure out what works for you. And everything down to the reps, down to the weight, down to the tempo of or what you do just because someone's like doing something and you see them and you love how they look it doesn't mean that you have to do those kind of workouts you can do whatever the heck you want just saying it's all about just finding what works for you <clears throat> okay not gonna try to blow up. the next thing now I talk about movement in a very general sense, except I am a firm believer, if you can, you have to be strength training. Strength, cha strength training will change your life. There are so many benefits to strength training. Building muscle, getting stronger, your bones will be stronger. People don't think about even that, like all the way down to the bone. Everything is benefiting from strength training. I am a huge believer that movement is the key to everything. If you watch my videos, I'm pretty sure I've said it on here before. I will forever believe that. Every single time that someone comes to me and says something, the first thing I ask them, well, are you strength training? Usually, Unfortunately, a lot of people say no, and that's a big thing with coming from they either don't know how, they get nervous, or they feel like they're doing it wrong, they don't know what to do, no one's taught them how to do it correctly, that's a huge thing, and it's just tough because that's the number one thing that I would push. I'm like, okay, well you need to be strength training, and either I can help you or you can go and educate yourself. There's so many things online. I mean, even my channel, like I'm constantly talking about it and I have a bunch of demoed exercises on this channel. So regardless, you can go around those obstacles, but implementing strength training, oh my gosh, I didn't even write it. <laughs> implementing strength training into your routine will change everything for you. Even going back to what I was saying before, like the tone, like toning, that's strength training. So it's building muscle. Everything that you're looking to do, strength training is like 99.9999999 because I can't guarantee 100. You know, I don't want to do that. Strength training is involved. And if you can do it, you have to be doing it. Next. Functionality is everything. I'm huge on this. Specifically with my training style, I am very into teaching people how to move correctly. So I'm very good, you know, not to toot my own horn, I'm very good at assessing someone and realizing things that they could be doing in a better way or a more functional way or things that might be limiting them from doing other things 
and I can teach them how to do things in a more ideal way for them. And again, that goes back to the whole everyone's different thing because everything will be different for every single person. So it's all about function. You essentially, not to tell you what you want, <laughs> I can only assume that everyone's on the same page as me is I would like wait I'm not gonna say I we you know as humans I think or more people you know whatever you want to be functioning for the rest of your life right I mean think about it you want your body to be like yeah I'm good to go like and you don't want to have to worry about yourself later in life and I'm talking like really later in life I always say take care of yourself now so you can take care of yourself later that's a huge thing making sure that you're able to do things for yourself now no matter where you are in your journey doesn't matter what age you are you can start at any time and it's not too late I promise it's not too late you're only benefiting yourself so don't give up on yourself that's another thing you want to do things now to secure your functionality for later for you to be able to do other things another part of this I want to mention is control and awareness how do we feel about branching off from the main circle Control of your body is huge and awareness of your body is also huge. So, you know, two huge things, I guess. <laughs> being aware of how your body moves, being aware of what your body does in certain situations, how it responds to this, what it does with this in any realm. So like I'm talking even further outside the realm of just movement. Awareness of your body, get to know yourself, that's a big thing. Being able to control how your body moves, when it moves, why it moves, everything is a big thing. And unfortunately, it, when people can move, the control is usually not there as much as people would like it to be. I definitely teach people how to control their bodies better, connecting better, getting a good connection. I feel like a lot of people say, um, the mind-muscle connection, that's a big thing people say, which is true. The mind-muscle connection, getting your mind to be like, hey, I gotta move my arm this way. Everything comes from the mind. Again, back to the mindset thing. Just having control and awareness of what you're doing is a big, big thing, and that will also tap into the functionality and how your body just functions overall. Okay, another thing. You don't... Should I just talk right at the same time? <laughs> you don't always need... Uh-oh, I'm ending a different room. This is what I get for drawing the circle first. To change it up. And this is talking specifically about, I guess, exercise in general or any types of movement. A lot of people will go into it or think that they constantly have to change things up and you know it's a tough one because a lot of things that you should do you should do because you love to do it and there's a lot of things out there that you can do for your specific movement and your specific interest and your specific goals but you want exercise to also be fun or you want to like kind of want it and it's tough because a lot of people will never get to that point I mean I train some people where I'm the glue that keeps their fitness and health path together it's not always that you'll fall in love with exercise it's n or movement but there is a chance that you can so it's a weird fine line of doing things that you love to do changing it up moving around doing different types of movement and then on the other side trying to stay somewhat consistent with what you're doing a big thing with me when I train is I will also give people things along the same line but I will do things in a slightly different way so it seems like we're changing it up but we're not we're staying on the path because I need them to get the results because they've invested in me getting them results, if that makes sense. Don't go into it thinking you have to constantly change it up or trick your body. That was a big thing like a little bit ago, but I think a lot of people have come to realize that the consistency is the most important and it's okay and it, it kind of should be a thing where you're doing the same things. I mean, if you think about it, let's go to the extremes. People who play sports. So if you're playing a sport, you're doing 
from the sport and you're training for the sport so you can be good at the sport so they're getting the results that they want. Say you are a marathon runner. You're not going to put all of your time and effort into something else. You're going to be running <laughs> because you want to be a runner and you want to run a marathon. So you have to do things towards your goals and the consistency of it is what will get you there. So that actually dives into the next thing, a big thing with movement specifically with strength training, which is what I um, was talking about earlier, is progressive over load. This means exactly how it sounds. You're progressively overloading your body throughout the time of... Hold on, that doesn't make sense. You're progressively overloading your body throughout the time of doing the exercise, whatever time frame that is. And unfortunately, it's a longer time frame than a lot of people want. You know, I mean, I'd love to have my results yesterday. I don't know about you. I'm assuming we're all thinking the same thing, except that's not how it works, unfortunately. If you watch my videos, you'll know I've been working towards some of the goals that I have for like, years now. It's all about just remembering that. And again, going back to the bigger picture things that I've mentioned in past videos of this series, the bigger, bigger, bigger picture, it's about finding out what you want and just sticking with it and just not giving up because you will get there I feel like a lot of people think like well I can never get there I'm like of course you can what the heck what are you thinking of course you can get there you can do anything that you want to do you can achieve any goal that you want to and I know I said this in the first one do not forget that you can get there you can do anything that you want. You cannot give up on yourself because you are great and I am great and we're all great. Another thing to mention with progressive overload is it comes in many shapes and sizes. That's a big thing. So a lot of people will just kind of put it in one category but Progressive overload means anything. So if you're working on a deadlift, progressively overloading the weight. You can also change things up, like not specifically with deadlifts, but with anything, I guess. Tempo, the way you do it. Doing single limb exercises versus double. Of course, increasing weight, increasing reps, and just messing around with the variable. <laughs> That's not the word. Messing around with very. <laughs> Should I skip over the word? Um, the variables of the moves and the elements, I guess in general, that can be changed up in a safe and progressive way. Okay, I kind of mentioned this, but this is another thing. Zone in on your actual goals. Now, I say this because people will think that they want certain goals but like not actually want them or think that they want to do certain things because it is allegedly the way to get other things for example people will pick a certain type of physical goal in order to achieve like an aesthetic goal it's not always the case it's not like that specific goal is linked to this so it's not like you can go down this one path and you're for sure gonna be able to get this it again is so subjective and I cannot say that enough so I want you to really zone in and upcoming I'm going to be doing a whole plan with me goal set with me so stay tuned for that after the end of this series I'm gonna personally do it for myself and I'm going to have you do it and like we could do it together but it's about just finding truly truly what you want and it's not what anyone else wants for you and it's not what you think other people want for you no 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 it's what you want for yourself because it's your life, it's your body. Our lives are very precious. And you know, our lives are very long. If you think about it, we can live a really long time. So this goes back to the functionality of what I was saying earlier, taking care of yourself so you can take care of yourself later. Some people who, for example, if you're 50 years old, or whatever, any age, I guess, but I'm just gonna use 50. But if you're 50 and you're thinking like, well, I can't do this, this is too late. 
I, you know, what's the use in doing it? No. If you think about it, you could have 50 more years to live. You can double that. So everything that you've been doing this whole time, you're going to be doing again. So why would you not set yourself up for success for the rest of your life? And being able to take care of yourself, a big, big, big thing is as we get into our older ages, so like 80s, 90s, even late 70s, sometimes people who haven't had the opportunity or chose not to take care of themselves throughout that time in things that we can control, I completely understand that there's things that happen in life that are out of our control, conditions, diseases, disorders, things that happen to us, but there are a lot of things that are preventable for example if you fall and break something if you strength train your odds of your bones being strong enough to stay intact during that fall will increase you know think about it like that as we go later into life it's cool to be able to say that you can take care of yourself and not have to rely on other people, maybe. And again, I'm saying these things as a very general thing. I am not saying it as I know your full story. And again, I, of all people, understand that there's things that are thrown at you in life that you cannot control and you kind of just have to go with it. But of course, like I just said, there are a lot of things that you can control. And if you can move, movement is a big one. Another one is nutrition, what I mentioned last time. If you can control what you're eating, did you hear that? That was my water bottle. <laughs> if you can control what you're eating, nutrition is a huge thing. What you're putting in your body is very important. I'm running out of room. Zoning into your actual goals. Another thing is, wait, what the heck am I doing? Another thing is finding what it means to you. So when people say like, quote unquote, I want to get in shape, I'll usually go back at them and be like, what does that mean? I can assure you that it means something different for me than what it means to you if you think about it. Again, we're all different. So just try to zone in on that as well. Being like, okay, what does in shape mean to me? What does fat loss mean to me? What does being stronger mean to me? Being able to lift 300 pounds or just being able to pick up my child off the ground. Another thing is with getting goals, um... No, I don't like that. Results can create other results. Oh gosh, this is very tight here. <laughs> and that's not a circle. I actually had just recently talked about this with someone. You can have two goals that you're working on at the same time, and then as you go down the path, they can meet and accomplish another goal. So there's always so much opportunity to hit different goals at the same time. So for example, if you're looking for fat loss, you can strength train, you can do other types of movement, just getting in more overall movement, whatever that means to you, and then um, fueling your body properly. So if you think about it, three different goals. So just overall movement, nutrition, and then just strength training, you'll be able to get stronger, you'll maybe heal your gut, get the insides of your body working a little bit better, and then get more movement in overall, maybe you decrease a pain somewhere, and then maybe all of these three will get you those aesthetic goals. See what I mean? Everything kind of cohesively works together if everything is consistent. And again, that will come in later videos, the supplemental elements and the habits and routine videos. And of course, bigger picture. I'm going to abbreviate that <laughs> for funsies. The bigger picture, of course, I don't need to repeat this again, I think, because even though I will, I guess, <laughs> this is the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture, look at what you want, look down the road, and or even the small things, like things that you truly want, because again, you can achieve anything that you want, you just have to do it. Okay, and the actual last one is just increase overall movement. Oh gosh, whatever. Increase overall movement. Figure out what works for you. We are done with this. 
making sure to squeeze in extra movement here and there if you can trying to figure out how to just get it in for days that you really aren't moving at all maybe if you're working all day at a desk if maybe you take a call or if you're not on video just pace around the room just figure out how to move for example this chair that i use if you could see yep you can see it this is a TikTok chair and essentially it promotes fidgetal movement fidgetal is that a word i don't know so it promotes movement like that like that oh i hit the camera oopsie something like this could also help there's something called neat n-e-a-t which is non-exercise activity thermogenesis and that goes into the whole realm of burning energy and just blah 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 all that other stuff that maybe i'll talk about another time but that plays a role in just overall movement getting steps in going for walks you have to figure out what works for you and you honestly just got to do it you know in the words of nike just do it if you can of course those are all of the things that i have for you today <laughs> take me to church why is that song stuck in my head i don't know but that is it you know a classic kate the great blab but Movement is my absolute favorite thing. So I'm hoping that maybe you took something from today and if not, maybe just gave you a little bit of inspiration to work on a path for yourself, start the movement train. If you can move, please just start moving or if someone around you can move, just maybe inspire them to just go for a walk or something like that. Movement is different for everyone. And we'll get into that when we go over my goals. So you'll see like what a wide range of movement can be because there's like a lot of things that I want to be able to do. And it's not like always traditional, like I want to run or I want to do things that everyone talks about. So just remember that you are unique unique New York as I always say that's just like something random that I say that's kind of fun <laughs> but you are unique and don't forget that and in case you're thinking that it's too late or you cannot achieve what you want think again I promise that you can so don't give up on yourself promise me right now say Kate I promise did say it I'll give you another se second to say it if you want promise you can do and you can achieve anything you want to do and on that note we are done. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I really, really, really appreciate it if you've watched the first two parts. I also appreciate that. Please be sure to stay tuned for more to come. If you want to come back and hang out with me again, make sure to subscribe down below so you always can. And for the later series and then the big goals planned with me. So I'm excited for all of that. Hopefully I get cleared to work out soon so we can all be in this together. She cleared me for everything to start exercising. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. <laughs> As always, I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.